Hi Tubers and welcome back to part 5 of the CF70 3 speed automatic. Right then, let's crack on. We eventually got some wheels and obviously they're a lot better than what we had. We have still got rust on them. We'll have to do something about that. So, what I think we'll start with is we'll blast them. Right, let's show you my setup. All tight. Right, this is my blaster. I actually picked this up off Marketplace on Facebook for the vast sum of £60. That's why I bought it. It was cheap, it was brand new. Someone had bought it and never used it. Anyway, we'll start with this. We'll put the wheels in here. Well, the wheel. And we'll give it a blast. I'm running glass bead in there. So, we'll show you what happens once we've done it. We'll see the state of it. Hold tight. There we go. Let's see what it looks like once I've blasted it. Well, as you can see, I've blasted the wheel, well, the rims. They're a lot better than what we had. Anyway, on my sand blaster, I actually have a vacuum running up to here which helps helps you see and extracts the dust whoops so if you look here you'll see I'm gonna switch this on it'll actually suck the gloves in there if you look in there if you look in there my gloves are actually being sucked in which is taking the dust away which makes it easier to see and stops all the dust you breathing it in I also wear that so you don't breathe any of the dust in because it's not really very good for you anyway let me knock this off Right guys, I've pushed on. I forgot about filming, I'll be honest. I was just in the zone. That was the rim this morning that we blasted and powder coated. I've got another tyre. I went and seen one of the scooter guys. Uh, got a part worn for a fiver. In fact, I got two part warns for a tenner. I knew in a tube. Uh, so I've put it all together. And I think that looks pretty damn good. I'm not worried about it being silver. The rim. Because I ain't got none. So it'll have to be black. So that's what I did. So that's virtually ready. To go back in. Right, I've got some new brakes for it as well. So I might put that together. But yeah, that's turning out really well. That looks dead smart. I'm happy with that. Okay, next job. We'll put these new brakes in. And hopefully then, we can put the back wheel back in. So it's mobile again. But it's pretty basic, take them off, put them on, and put it all back together. Shouldn't take too long. Well guys, what do you think? Do you think it's moving along? I think that looks dead smart to what we had. Yeah, well happy, new brakes in it. Compared to what we did have. 
that's the wheel that was on there yeah coming along nice we can move up the bike soon maybe have a look at this front one if we can get the front one looking as good as the back one it'll be really nice I'm just glad to have that bit back together it's been a bit of a ball like waiting for parts getting parts but we're there and I'm really pleased with it well it's another day and I am just working in such a crap hole I've got stuff everywhere I've got nowhere to work place is just cluttered up so I think I'm going to spend some time cleaning all this up before I turn this round and start playing with the front of it because that's where I've got to get I've got to get some space it's just ridiculous the way I'm working anyway let me tidy up a bit well at least I've got a little bit of room to work now tidied up a bit turned it round and start doing some work on this front end I think the first thing I'm going to do is have this front wheel out try and get this sorted yeah we'll strip that down I don't know what we're going to do with this lot here but we'll find something so first thing split pin out <coughs> get the wheel out start tinkering and playing well first impressions everything looks really good even the brakes look good got the usual bugbear I'm trying to get that out they're usually a bastard to get undone so I'll sort of try and sort that out so I can actually take this off but yeah everything looks pretty good you know yeah so I think what I'll do is get this hub out to start with get this rim split if I can get this tyre off I'll go on with the tyre for it and start cleaning up but yeah looks pretty good to me well managed to get that undone use the impact on it and that got it undone there they normally just ran straight out but we managed to get it out that I don't know if I even want to paint that it ain't that bad just a good clean up we'll drop some new shoes on it and stuff just give it a quick service wheel I've got it in the vice you can see it's crunchy what I'm trying to do is just break the bead if you've seen on the others you have to cut them off but I'm hoping I can get this one off without doing that I'll keep going round with the vice squeezing it and then we'll take the hub out there's three bolts here and take these out there there and there that'll get that out of the way and then we can start on the split rim we'll go around that under them and see if it'll come apart okay so one side come off okay uh, you can see the rust that's in there this is the inner tube and how thick and crap it is but this side don't want to play nice it don't want to come out from the tire uh, it won't just pull out so I think we'll get the hammer on it and see if we can break the bead I've got something on a wedge in there try and tap down once I get one bit free it should come out 
where it's just rusted to the wheel. There, rusted to the tyre. You can see the stuff in there. Anyway, let me have a go at it. Right then, I've got that one off. And as you can see, the state of the rim white was seized on there. Glued itself to it. So I think what we'll do, we'll get in the blaster and see what it looks like after it's been done. Yeah, managed to get it off without cutting it off. So that was a bonus. Right then, where do we start? I'll take it, we'll start with this one first. And get some jip and see what happens. Looks as rough as an old bear there. But, can't get them. I'll have to try and keep this one. Well, I've spent a bit of time with this thing. Just going round, knocking all the loose stuff off and that's what we're left with it's not brilliant but it's all we've got so I think next thing we'll get in the blaster and see what we can come up with that one that side ain't too bad there's pits in it but they're not gone through so I think it'll be all right oh. Hey ho, it is what it is. Just gotta carry on. Right then guys, I actually pushed on, managed to get that painted, ready to go back on. I blasted the wheels, there you go. And they turned out pretty good, pretty good. They'll do for what we need. So, what I'm going to do is reassemble this lot, give this a bit more of a clean. I didn't paint this, I think it's just mucky and it won't hurt. But yeah, it's going well. So I'll try and get this back together, this wheel, and get it back in. I actually, that inner tube, I cleaned the rust off it, blew it up last night. And today, it's still up. So I'll probably save myself nine quid and just stick that one back in. Every penny counts, as we know. And if it's up and it's working, we'll use it. Right, let me try and get this back together. Right then, wheels back together and tyres stayed up. So I'm happy about that. So I'm just taking that off, it's bright. Need to find a new one. Yeah. Clean that up a bit. We'll drop some new brakes in it. Although these look alright, but they're just not worth it. They look new. But as we know, with age they come delaminated. It's just not worth taking the chance. So we'll drop them in. We'll drop the front wheel back in. I'll put all new fixings all the way around. Just smart it up a bit more. And where it was rotted here a little bit, I've actually put a washer behind that. And that is Bob on now. You can't see it as such. But the bit of rock what was there is covered now with the washer. I'm happy with that. Well folks, carried on and we got the front wheel back in. Now that looks pretty damn good to me compared to what we started with. New brakes are in it, tyres on, looking for another job. Where do we go next? I don't know. I'm going to go and have a cup of tea now I've done that and think about where to go next. Yeah, I'm really pleased the way it's going. It's starting to come together. Frame, I'm just going to leave with all the patina on it. Or rubbish or crap or whatever you want to call it on it. I'll just give it a good clean down. But as long as it's safe and showing its age, 
on my thigh. So let's go and get a cup of tea. Well, I've had my cup of tea and I've gone off on a tangent now I've come back. I've uh, decided to put the battery and all the rest of that back in. Because one thing I hadn't checked was the lights are working since I've had it all apart. So I've put all that back together and everything seems to be working. What I want to do now, I want to put this exhaust on properly and uh, fire her up, see if everything's okay because we also had all that out. I want to make sure that's all back together properly. So I want to fire her up because uh, we haven't tested it yet. And I'd like to say uh, hi to uh, Rupert. He's uh, another guy who's just doing one of these. That's Monkey Roo. And Garage to Trail. He always comments. He's doing videos. Check them out. They're always messing with stuff like this. Anyway, back to this. This thing here, this rack. I'm not looking forward to it, but I'm going to take that off. And it seems to be attached everywhere. To the speedo. All down here. Lights and all the rest, but it's in the real mess. I'd like to get that sorted. Once I've uh, got it up and running again, so it's indicators that go come off. Oh, it's just one of them jobs you just don't want to do, but we got to crack on with it. So let me crack on. Let me get this exhaust sorted first. Well, I bought a new exhaust gasket. Now with these, when you try and put them in. They just keep falling out as you try and get everything up there. So what I normally do is get some grease, put some grease on it, and it holds it up there while you're messing around. So I'm going to do that and get the exhaust on. Well, we've decided to go a bit mad because Tom's here. We've never even rid this bike. We don't even know if anything works properly in the gearbox or anything. So we've thrown it back together with the exhaust on it. I have got a new brake cable for the front and one for the back, but I think we'll just slip this front one on and send the test pilot up and down the road, see if it what happens, whether it pulls, changes gear or whatever. So let me slip this cable on and we'll get Tom to have a go on it. So we've come across the first problem with this cable. It's not long enough. Or is it that the dots here and here aren't lining up together, which may bring that round a little bit further and work. So I'll undo this lot, started undoing it, and we'll move that round. And hopefully we can get a front brake on it. Well, there you go. Line the dots up. Cable fits now. With adjustment. So we'll pull it off the ramp and have a go and see if it will ride. Right then. Let's have an attempt of a ride. Will it go? Yeah, moving. say it's brilliant but it's moving
lovely back fire. Something's not quite right, but at least it moves. So at least we can have a bit of fun with it. Yeah, it's probably do with another carb clean. with progress we're definitely moving forward yeah it sounds like the carbs not right oh well we'll drag him in and have a play with that later on well he's back with it and it seems like the more we're running it the better it's getting but definitely needs carbon stuff sorting. But we'll get another 10 15 minutes, we'll just keep running up and down the track to buy us and see if it sort of the gears start working as they should now. It's getting oil, warm oil around it, and all the rest. But yep, we're getting somewhere with it, and then we'll have it back on the ramp. Right then, she's back on the ramp and Let's give us some cows to play with. We know the more we run it, the better it was getting. Obviously, it hasn't run for over 30 years. So, Tom managed to fall off it. Uh, turning around on the grass, too much power for him, I think. We almost had it up to 20 mile an hour. So, anyway, I'm going to call it a wrap on this one. And thanks for watching. Thanks for the subscribers and we're down, we're gone.